For joining with us all right i have laura santagati and gia madina with us today the ceo and the executive chef of circos um management group excuse me so i'm so happy you two are with us today you brought some food with us i went to your restaurant it was amazing service amazing food thank you so, thank you yeah give us some background on the both of you and then tell us what's going on with your, your restaurant, what are the different things that we can do to enjoy ourselves and be able to embellish the environment you've provided for us. Thank you, well thank you for having us, we're so excited. Uh, we have so much going on at Chirco. Um, we, it's in the middle of Uptown, we're in the one Uptown building. Uh, mm -hmm. We opened October 18th of last year. And the entire thing is, it's almost three businesses in, in one. We have the first floor that uh, Chef Gia is our executive chef, and she runs the entire thing. But the first floor is more of our upscale dining and our pasta stations. And we have um, homemade pasta, meatballs, sausage, everything that we brought for you today. Um, and then the second floor is our Chirco Beach Club that just opened on Sunday. And it's a completely different experience for Dallas. We have two pools, cabanas, spa services, cigar lounge, um, two DJ, two DJ booths, a main stage. So it's like an entire entertainment. Venue. Now this pool is really cool because it's a glass bottom <laughs> yeah. on one of them and six inches on the other, where you just have a table. Just get your feet wet, and then yeah. people bring you stuff. Oh, and the cabanas, amazing. I loved it. Thank you. You're so the thought behind that is, so Chirco means circus in Italian. And we started in 1974. Our founder was Sirio Maccioni. And the industry, if, if anybody knows it, is completely chaotic. And there's always something going on. As our mascot is a monkey. And the monkey symbolizes um, kind of like the, the servers that were constantly juggling things in front of the guests. So you don't see everything that's like really happening that she puts out. So um, it starts off with the clear glass bottom pool when the guest arrives they can, from ballet. They can look up and see who, the clear glass bottom pool above them. So that way they, they know there's something upstairs and it sparks the interest from the beginning. Tell me about the background. Where does it start? Because I saw when I walked in, there was Jackie Kennedy and there was something going on there. Bring that out. So it started, um, there's a lot of history that is in Chirico that we are excited to bring here. It started in 1974. Um, the founder was the first inventor of creme brulee and pasta primavera. And when he wanted to bring things to his menu, he would ask food critics like Jackie Kennedy and um, the Duchess of York and Pat Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, and they would come in and dine at Le Cirque and Chirco. And when they would try the food, they would say, add a little bit more cinnamon or take away some vanilla or I like this or I like that. And so he developed these menus behind all of our history. And on the first floor, we have 36 of the original handwritten letters from all of these iconic people. So our guests can walk around and read them and really understand all of the history that's been behind Le Cirque and Chirco's around the world. Now, where are you taking the company? You're the CEO. Tell me what you're going to do with this. There's a lot to do with this. Um, we have a lot of opportunities ahead of us. We're looking, we're looking in California, mm -hmm. um, but we have to see where the market and the trends really lead us and what's the best for the business. Um, for La Cirque, I think uh, California would be a good fit, but we're also looking in Florida. We're just kind of searching all over North America and Canada. Why Dallas? Dallas, so we searched for six years prior to this. It took me six years to get this to get this Chirco location open. We have a marketing analysis behind our um, guest experience to see where the zip codes are coming from, from our diners. Um, there's a Le Cirque in 
the Bellagio in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. and we track zip codes of like who our diners are and what our feedback is. So we go to a market that calls for us, and um, 75201 was number one. And at the time, um, Dallas was number one for restaurants and bars in the U.S. So when we came here, we searched, and this was the space that we're in now was a Hard Rock Cafe. So we pulled the permits and we partnered with the building and knocked it down to build One Uptown and Chirco. It's an amazing place. I've been there. I've dined twice there, once downstairs, once upstairs, and I have been just bowled over with the service and the food. Now, Gia, tell us about the food that you brought. Guys, get a picture of this. <laughs> Well, the food uh, is important that you know that we make all of our pastas like fresh in house. We do make our sausages, our meatballs. Uh, for us, like the base of Italian cuisine is always uh, something fresh and simple, not overcomplicated, just good food. And that is what we do at, at Trico. Mm -hmm. And what we have here is just a sample of the many, many things you can, you can try. Starting that way, that is uh, the Mama Eji ravioli, which is in all of the Lysurics and Shurikos all over the world. Dubai, India, uh, it was in New York and Vegas. Right here is a uh, pasta bongola, which is a classic Italian dish of clams and spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Meatballs, which we make here, and the Italian sausage and peppers, which is really good to start the day. Now you have a background that's very credible. Give us some, <laughs> some of your background. Well, I, I am fairly new to Dallas. I came here uh, a year and a half ago after Hurricane Maria hit uh, Puerto Rico. I was a chef at the Ritz Carlton Reserve. And when the hotel got the property got destroyed, I got transferred to the Ritz Carlton Dallas. That's how I ended up here. Uh, before that, I don't have a culinary uh, education. I didn't formally study this. I was a teacher for five years. I studied I got a degree in criminology and then I became a lawyer. But I decided to stick with my passion. I put, my, put myself through school, like, doing this. It became what I love, and I cannot imagine my life, like, any other way. So You're the first lawyer I've ever met. She's super humble. Like, yeah. I am her biggest cheerleader, and I can tell you that she is an attorney. She is a teacher. She sings. She um, is an executive chef. She's the first female executive chef within our company. And we are known for the culinary art. We're known for our chefs. We have right. Dana Ballou, Jacques Torres. And for Chef Gia to come on board, it was such an honor. But she does, she is mega talented. Yes, I can tell that. Multifaceted. All right. <laughs> now, there's a lot more than a restaurant here because you have a private club, you have events. <laughs> Tell our audience the different things that they can use to, the, the tools that they can use to work with when they come to your, to your establishment. It's not just a restaurant. Right, and that's what we've been trying to get across because when we, we researched out here and we wanted to see what Dallas likes to do. So we tried to put it all in, I'm under one roof. Um, so yes, the first floor is dining, but the second floor you can get your nails done, you can get a massage, you can rent out a cabana. We just started um, this past Sunday our Aqua Music Series. So um, our next event is May 5th, mm -hmm. and we bring in different acts from Vegas and from LA, and so we have all sorts of things going on throughout the summer. Wow. Um, we have, it's a Cinco de Mayo, Labor Day, 4th of July, and then we have our fond farewell at the end, which is our rosé soiree. But it's you can dine on the first floor. What's, what's that? The rosé soiree? Yeah. The rosé soiree is, is at the end of the summer. It's something that we do in the Chircos um, in the U.S. And it's just a fond farewell, and it's a it's an amazing event. Wow. All right, ladies, thank you so much no, for being No, thank you. Here. Thank, thank you. you. All right, you've been watching CEO Money with Michael Yorba. Thanks for joining with us. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and definitely show up here at this restaurant. We'll talk to you soon.